Hi, so welcome to Ableton Live Quick Tips um, part, or number three, not really part three, number three. Um, so this one is all about follow action stuff, and I'm going to actually do part, well, again, okay, it's not part, number three, and I'm going to do number four as well, just both looking at follow action stuff, but um, looking at different uses of it. So this first one is all about um, kind of creating some random drum fills from drum grooves, which is great for a live performance if you don't want to just throw random fills in, or for your music, you know, your song productions and uh, and whatever. So um, I've just I've randomly picked this. I've got a load of vengeance loops and samples and stuff in here. So I've just randomly picked this drum loop. Okay, so it's just a one, two, three, four, one bar loop. Okay, which is what we want. So first thing we're going to do is just going to insert a, another scene. Okay, now we're going to copy this down. I'm going to leave a gap. Okay, and then we're going to. So let me. Just, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm just going to do that again. Quick shortcut. So if you um, hold your um, control, oh, it's going to be Command, I think, on a Mac. Control on a PC. If you hold that down and drag your clip down, you'll see you get that little plus sign, and it's going to duplicate it down there like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that eight times. So for doing this, all I'm going to do is highlight it and press Control or Command and then D. So we need eight of those um, clips. So that's the first one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So what we're going to do on each of these clips is, I'm just going to get my grid to eighth notes okay we're going to just shorten the loop so it only plays an eighth note okay so it's going to take it down to there right so this first one's not going to it's just going to play let me just get up to that first one where is it gone there okay so it's just going to play that first eighth note okay and then what we're going to do on the second one, we're going to play the second eighth note. Okay. All right, let me just get rid of some stuff here, just so I've got a bit more space on the screen, and then I don't have to keep scrolling about. Let's change. So, so there we go. That's first eighth note, second eighth note. This is going to be the third eighth note. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is each of these clips is going to start one eighth note later than the previous one. So that's the fourth one. That's very exciting to watch, I know, but bear with me. I'm just going to go through the whole process. So that's the fifth, sixth, seventh. Yeah, that's the fifth one. Now you can experiment, of course, with different, um, you know, you might not want to do eighth notes. You might want to break this down into sixteenths or any combination. It's up to you. Just let your imagination run wild. But for this, it's just easiest just to do it on the eighth note bits. And there's the last one. Right. So if I just go through those so you can see first, second, third, fourth. Ooh, what's going off on the fourth? I've not done that. I've done the wrong bit. So it's good to check before we go ahead. Uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay, so that loop brace is now um, set accordingly. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to just click on the top one and then going to highlight all of these, these clips. So that's shift and then click on the bottom one. And you can see we've now got multiple clips selected. We know we've got multiple clips selected because we get these um, stripy lines here. Now we're going to make sure the loop, the launch, sorry, um, tab is open here. And we're going to do our, we're going to leave the quantization at global, which is going to be on uh, one bar. So that works works best for this. Um, and then for our follow action, we're going to have it on any. Okay, so it's just going to randomly pick any of these four here. And I'm going to start it off with as one sixteenth note. Okay, so remember down here, You've got, these are your 16th notes, so four of those, so if I go one, two, three, four, make one beat, so they are your beats, and then one, two, three, four, they are your bars here. So you've got bars, beats, and then basically 16th notes on the end bit. So if I set it as one 16th note, and I just press play this top one, you'll see what's going to happen here, it's going to go crazy. 
Okay, so it's going to now play all these different sections triggering on the first bit of each eighth note section completely randomly on every 16th note. That's going to now generate us our nice little kind of drum break, glitchy drum fill. Again, great for live performance. So if we could play the top one. So generally what I would do is um, drum fills and so on are going to come in either every fourth bar or every eighth bar or every twelfth bar or something, usually after some multiple of four. So if I play this top groove here, as soon as I'm somewhere in bar three, if I click on one of these on the fourth bar, it's going to give us our drum fill. And then as soon as that's playing, I'm going to click back on there. And in fact, um, now I'll do it on here so you can see what I'm doing. I was going to say I'll do it on push, um, but I've not got the camera on, so uh, I'll just do it off here. Right, so here we go. So we have a listen to this, and then we get these nice, glitchy, random drum fills. Okay, so you can see it's different every time. So if you just want something completely random, it's a great way of doing that. So what I'm basically doing is I'm counting my beats and bars, and on to get that on the fourth bar, I'm making sure I'm on my somewhere in my third bar and I'm pressing one of these. So if I count this time, so we've got one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, fill. Then click back on that one. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Okay, so you just got to make sure that you obviously you launch the this this the random thing on here somewhere in bar three as soon as that's playing because that's then taking you into bar four just click back on this one again if I just do it on push so I'm pressing the button on push And obviously you can leave those fills going for as, as long as you want. Um, if you're going to do this like as a track, what you could then do is just record that. Okay, I'm doing this from push. Um, in case you know I'm doing it. Okay, and then that's going to record that in for you. So you can, if you want to do that, like, you know, to keep it, you can see here, this is where all the random um, clips have been triggered. Let's click the back to arrangement. Obviously, that's got loads of different um, clips on there. So what you can then do, if you want that just as a single audio file, just highlight it, control J, consolidate it. And you've got this nice glitchy drum fill generated completely randomly. So let's have a listen. Some loops might work better than others, so you might want to keep some, get rid of some others. You know, and if you just want that just as your starting point of a track, great way of doing that for a bit of inspiration. Or if you're just playing a load of loops live and you want some random stuff, follow action is your best friend. Um, so if you check out part four, which will be up, I don't know, sometime in the next week, I'm going to show you the similar sort of thing, but how I do it with a bass line, again, to generate a song idea uh, using some bass. Process is very, very similar, um, but there are a few slight differences that we would need to look out for. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. Please share it around. Uh, go and listen to my music. Stream some stuff of mine off Spotify or iTunes or whatever you use so I can get my 0.0.0003 pence per stream. Um, but if millions of people do it, yeah, I might make a pound. Um, okay. Thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Any questions or comments, you know what to do. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.